The best movies on Netflix can be hard to find, but we're not likely to run out of great films anytime soon. There's plenty to choose from. Whether you're looking for the best action movies, horror films, comedies, or classic movies on Netflix. So here's our list of the top 10 best Netflix movies you should watch next. Number 10. Brazen after a demanding book tour, superstar mystery novelist Grace McCabe, played by Eliza Milano, decides to visit her sister, embroiled in a custody battle after a bitter divorce. Arriving in DC, Grace is shocked to find her sister living in a rundown neighborhood and hoping to afford a hotshot lawyer by moonlighting as an adult phone operator. Grace has her doubts confirmed one horrifying night when one of the phone operators is murdered. As Grace is drawn to help solve the crime, her life turns into a scene from one of her own books. Yet as one of her biggest fans, investigator Ed Jackson, played by Sam Page, warns her that real people die and Grace could be next. She's setting a trap for a killer more twisted than anything she could imagine and not even Ed may be able to protect her from a rendezvous with lust and death. Can't hear you. Louder. Louder. Number 9. The Royal Treatment in this film, Isabella, played by Laura Marano, runs her own salon and isn't afraid to speak her mind. On the other hand, Prince Thomas, played by Mina Masood, runs his own country and is able to marry for duty rather than love. When Izzy and her fellow stylists get the opportunity of a lifetime to do the hair for the royal wedding, she and Prince Thomas learn that taking control of their own destiny requires following their hearts. What are you doing here? I was hoping I could join you. You could be my Sherpa guide to normal life. Mm, I don't know. Number 8. 365 Days This Day 365 Days This Day is a 2022 erotic thriller film directed by Barbara Bialawas and Thomas Mendes, serving as a sequel to 365 Days. The plot follows a young Warsaw woman, played by Anna Maria Szekluska, in a spiritless relationship falling for a dominant Sicilian man, played by Michele Maroni, who imprisons and imposes on her a period of 365 days for which to fall in love with him. Are you jealous? Listen to me. Please have some respect for Polish tradition, okay? If you want next time you can join us. Number 7. Black Crab The Swedish movie Black Crab follows a soldier named Caroline Ed, played by Numi Rapaz. Attempting to end an apocalyptic war and save her daughter, Caroline reluctantly embarks on a desperate mission to cross a frozen sea carrying top secret cargo. We follow Ed's story from her beginnings as a mother, then flash forward to when she's now a soldier in an unforgiving war. As she journeys across an icy wasteland, she encounters friends and foes along the way. It's filled with action set pieces and emotional moments as Ed attempts the seemingly impossible task of ending the war and reuniting her family. You hit? Grenade! No! Number 6. Through My Window Raquel, played by Clara Gal, is madly and irrevocably in love with her attractive and mysterious neighbor, Ares, played by Julio Pena. The thing is, she has just watched him from afar because, much to her dismay, they haven't exchanged a single word. But Raquel has an apparent mission. It's to make Ares fall in love with her. However, she is not an innocent, helpless girl, and she is certainly not prepared to lose everything to achieve her goal. Most notably, not herself. Now that we're halfway through, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we bring out new videos each week. Number 5. The Weekend Away The Weekend Away is the latest film and the woman mysteriously goes missing and someone else suffers psychologically as a result subgenre. Leighton Meester plays Beth, who joins her best friend Kate, played by Christina Wolf, on a trip to Croatia. Everything is perfect until Beth wakes up to find Kate missing. Her frantic search uncovers devastating secrets closer to home with only a fuzzy memory of the previous night and the police not helping. I can't come home, Rob, because the police have taken my passport. Because I'm sure they think I killed Kate. And if they find out about the affair, they'll have a damn good reason too. Number 4. The In-Between 
The movie tells the story of Tessa, played by Joey King, and Skylar, played by Kyle Allen, who meet at the local theater while watching the 1986 art house classic, Betty Blue. They immediately hit it off, and they fall head over heels in love with one another. Sadly, the course of true love does not run smoothly. Tessa and Skylar fall out when they disagree about her other passion. When he decides to leave town to be with his struggling father, more tensions arise. But before they can reconnect and strengthen their relationship, tragedy happens when Skylar is struck by a car and get killed. This should be the end of their relationship. But when Skylar starts to make his ghostly presence known to Tessa, the two are finally able to resume their romance. <sighs> Number 3. Don't Look Up Astronomy student Kate, played by Jennifer Lawrence, discovers the existence of an identified comet. Her professor, Dr. Mindy, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, calculates that the asteroid's trajectory crosses that of the Earth and that an impact will take place in about six months, killing all life in the process. They travel to the White House to present their findings. However, the White House has other plans and is trying to silence Dr. Mindy and Kate. Nothing really changes in their attempt to inform the population through a television program. Nobody seems interested, and they will soon find out why. This has been really, really, really stressful. It's been a lot. Yes, I will agree. It takes a heavy... <laughs> you just look so bad <laughs> Number 2. The Adam Project Young Adam Reed played by Walker Scobell, is still grieving his father's sudden death the year before. One night, he walks into his garage to find a wounded pilot hiding there. This mysterious pilot turns out to be the older version of himself from the future, played by Ryan Reynolds, where time travel is in its infancy. He has risked everything to come back in time on a secret mission. Together, they must embark on an adventure into the past to find their father, set things right, and save the world. As the three work together, both young and grown Adam has a chance to heal the wounds that have shaped them. Adding to the challenge of the mission, the two Adams discover that they really don't like each other much. And if they're going to save the world, first they need to figure out how to get along. You're me. That's classified, but yes. Was. Number 1. The Tinder Swindler The Tinder Swindler is a terrifying documentary about a con man who used Tinder to swindle unsuspecting ladies into handing over their credit cards and taking out loans to funnel his money. After watching this, it will make you want to track him down yourself. This man would lure women he met on the dating app and set them up to be his next source of cash before disappearing into the internet and tropical locales where he partied hard on their dime. It's not an exceptionally well-made documentary, but the story is compelling, and the victims are rightfully treated with compassion. And I said, do you have a picture of him? That moment when they look at each other and they say, that's the guy. Function. What movie did you like best? Tell us in the comments. For our biggest fans, consider becoming a member for bonus perks and access. Don't forget to check out our merch store for the perfect bench watching apparel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We put out new videos like this one every week. We'll see you for our next video. Thanks for watching.